Hello again, Michael Fudge here. As always, thank you for tuning in. Welcome back to our series on mastering the SQL select statement. In this video, part seven in the series, we will explore the with statement and common table expressions. These help to simplify our nested queries by writing them as a series of named steps. Anything that you can query and result in output that's tabular is considered a common table expression and can be named using the with statement. Let's get on with the show. The general syntax of with is that you say with, of course, and then the name of the query, and then inside the parentheses is your select statement, which is your common table expression. This could be any query that returns a result set. That named query is treated as a table in the final select statement that you write underneath the with statement. And you can have several um, named queries in the with statement as we will demonstrate when we get into the hands-on part of the video, okay? Okay, here we are out in Azure Data Studio and you can see I already have written a query. This query is similar to the one that I wrote in the previous video where I have an aggregate operator that averages student GPA by the year name. So I can see that freshmen have an average GPA of 2.99 and graduate students have an average GPA of 3.1. Then I have this having clause here that will take what you see in front of you and only show rows where the average GPA is under three. So when you look at something like this, you might say, well, I just don't like the way that this looks. You know, I wanna say average GPA by year. And we learned that you can't say this because of the way that SQL processes things. The select clause, uh, the projection part of select, I should say, happens very happens at the end. So having happens before that. And therefore we cannot use this alias. Now there is a way to use the alias if you use table valued expressions. So first of all, what is a table value expression? Any query that you run that returns a table can be considered to be a table valued expression. You can break up a query into multiple table values expressions expressions using with. Let me give you an example. So I might say with, and then you have to give it a name. So I'm going to call this student year GPA. And I'm going to really kind of go crazy with this um, with statement. Okay. As, and then I'm going to write a query and this is going to be select from students, but I don't want to do that. I want to do student year and student GPA. And then what I'd like to do is group by student year name. And let's get an average of student GPA as average GPA by year. Okay, now I'm gonna run this and you're gonna see that it's gonna give me an error because I'm not done. The way that you use the with statement is after you, it's actually a clause technically, is after you use with, you have to specify a select statement of some sorts. You have to specify any old select statement. Okay, but you wanna be, you have to use your table, your your common table expression, if you will, in your select statement. So so in essence, what I did is this builds a table called this. Now it's not stored anywhere. It's all temporary. It's all in memory. And then in turn, this queries said table. So I like kind of broke up my select statement into two bits. And now I can use a where clause because this column here, average GPA by year is known by this common table expression. Watch this. There it is, see? It even shows up in the IntelliSense. Okay. 
So this query is longer, but maybe easier for most people to understand because what I'm doing is I'm grouping by student year's name and I'm getting the average year. Then with that, I am filtering it where the average GPA by year is less than three. So it's a way to break up your query into multiple steps, okay? So you might still not be convinced that this is a good way to sort of go about doing things. And so let me see if I can convince you otherwise. There are some things that are just darn near impossible to try to write without using um, these common table expressions. For example, let's write this. Let's get a list, a list of all students that is name and GPA where the student GPA is bigger than the average overall GPA. Okay. So you might say, I could do this, select, right? And then we go student first name, student last name, student GPA from students where student GPA is bigger than, and I don't, how do I say overall average GPA? Well, you could, you could write that as a select statement, right? I could say select, you know, average student GPA from students. I could write that query like that. And then I get a list of students and which ones are bigger than the average. The problem with this query is you don't see what the average is, right? I don't see what this average is. And again, as we mentioned before in previous videos, if you can't understand what you're looking at without looking at the query, then you're probably not writing the query very well, right? So we want to have a column here that says overall average student GPA. All right, so you're just like, well, I could do that. So now I could put up here, I could put a column, I could say select average student GPA from students. And we're going to call this as overall average GPA. I'm going to run that. Okay, and so now you see the overall average is this, and then this is the student GPA, and so now you know that everybody's is higher than the average. Great, but this is messy. You know, select student, first name, student, last name, student GPA, select average. It's like, whoa, okay, I am just a little overwhelmed here. So is there a way that we could maybe write this using with and using common table expressions? Is there a way to simplify it, right? Maybe take this and represent it as a common table expression. Does it, does it look any easier to do it that way? Maybe, maybe not, right? But let's see what we can do here. So with, well, I'm gonna call it average GPA as, that as this and then down here I'm going to say select you can do that oh I get a name you can't you have to alias the column as overall average Unless you alias the column in the width, it will not work. Okay, there we go. So now can I somehow simplify this original query I wrote? So, I don't know. Let's try it. Select student first name. I don't know if this is going to work. 
but this is part of the experimentation of it. I will get to an example that I know definitely will work. Student first name, student last name, student GPA. Now, can I just say average GPA here? The answer to that is no, I can't. I can't because average GPA is a table. You can see it's kind of complaining already. It's not a column, it's a table. So I still have to do select star from average GPA. I still have to do that. But at least, oh, I gotta highlight the with statement too. But at least now it's, you know, a little easier to understand than, than that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. You know, and then I would say where, where student GPA is bigger than, or yeah, bigger than select star from average GPA. I don't know if it's any easier to read. It looks simpler, maybe. Right? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. So you might be saying, I'm not sold on this whole with thing. Can you give me an example where it really does improve the understanding and the readability of the query? And yeah, I'm gonna do that next. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you the process by which you might think about writing the query and then naturally have that process be built through with, okay? So imagine you're tasked with doing the following. Give me a list of names, names, GPAs, and uh, let's do names, year, and GPA, and a column with average GPA for that year. Okay, you might say, oh, that's pretty easy. I could do that without a with statement, right? Oh, probably want your name before GPA like this. Okay. Looks great. And then I want to add another column here. I want to add another column here. I don't know what it's going to be called. I'm just going to do this. And it's going to be average student GPA by year. All right, okay, I don't know what to put here. Okay, so let's do this. Can we figure out what the average student GPA is by year? Select star, let's do, well, I know it's from students, right? So let's start there and it would be student year name. average student GPA as average student GPA by year. From students, group by student year name. And I have to group by, I have to group by student year name because I want to include it in the projection and I have an aggregate over here. That's the rule, right? So let me see if I can run both of these together and explain what I want. So Robin Banks says freshman. So I want to show 2.998 here. Aaron, your tires is a junior. So I want to show 2.733 here. What I need to do in essence is join this table and this table on student year name. I need to join them on these two columns. 
So it might not be easy to figure out how to join these two columns together, but if you create them as common table expressions, it ends up being quite simple. So now let's introduce with. So let's save this under a name first. With, and I, I just, I'm gonna call this table one as, table one's a horrible name, but you know the hardest thing to do in computing is naming stuff, honestly. And then a comma, and then I'll say table two as, So I have two common table expressions. I have one here and I have one here. And now I will use a select statement to combine them. Table one as T1 join, join table two as T2 on T1 student year name equals T2 student year name. Now I can print everything from T1, which is what I wanted. And I also want to include from T2 the average student GPA by year. And let me just make this look a little better. So let's take a breath. First I make table one, then I make table two, then I write a select that joins them together. And the output gives me this. The freshmen all have 299, the juniors have 270933. It works. Common table expressions and using with, also known as table valued expressions. Okay. And that's basically how it works. You might say that this query is um, complicated, but I argue that it's much easier to understand. When you see with, you know that you're building out from this query a temporary table in memory. And then from this query, you're building out another temporary table. And then this query is using those tables to do a join. Okay. And we're not joining on primary foreign key anymore. We're joining on a common column that they both share. Now, in the next video, you're going to learn how to simplify even this using what's called like a window function. Okay, and we'll get there, get there. But that is using with and common table expressions slash table valued expressions.